你爱我，我爱你，我是变傻甜蜜蜜。你爱我，我爱你，我是变傻甜蜜蜜。Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello guys, how are you today? Introduce myself. My name is Winda Navianti with student number G1 D1 23020. I come from class 1B Public Health Sciences Study Program, Faculty of Medicine and Health Sciences, Jambi University. So, on this session, I will present material on how to stop stunting in society. Before that, we must first know what stunting is. Stunting is a condition characterized by a child's lack of height compared to children his age. Simple plot, stunting is a term for grown um, disorder in children. This main cause of stunting is a lack of nutritional intake during a children's grown period. Many people don't realize that a children's short hair can be a sign of chronic nutritional problems. This is important to remember that short children do not um, necessarily experience stunting. However, children who suffer from stunting must be short in stature. Short children with limited nutritional intake since childhood and for a long time are at risk of experiencing stunted growth. According to WHO, a country is said to have a stunting problem if the number of cases rises above um, 20%. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, based of data from the Ministry of Health in 2020 and 21, cases of stunting under 5 in Indonesia were um, 24 25 sorry 25 percent so it is a problem that needs to be addressed stunting is a health problem that has existed from a long time such a poor nutri nutrient reported infection premature birth and low birth weight however the most common cause of stunting is malnutrition therefore you as a parent must know how to overcome difficulty eating in children, which is sometimes a common problem in children, especially to those. They are two important points that are the main factor in the occurrence of stunting in children in schooling. One, lack of nutritional intake in mother during pregnancy. The World Health Organization stated that around 20% of stunting cases occur when the child it is the woe. This can occur due to the food consumed by the mother during pregnancy being less nutrition so that the fetus does not get no nutrition. Finally, the growth of the fetus in the womb begins to expansion obstacles and continues until after birth. Three, four, it is important to ensure that mother consume nutrition food during pregnancy. Two, children's nutritional needs are not met. This condition can occur after birth. To be precise, when the child is under two years of age, but these nutritional needs are not met. The required intake includes bread's meal and MPASE or complementary food for bread's meal. Apart from that, lack of food in steak can also be a factor causing stunting, especially wood um, that is rich in protein, the mineral zinc, and iron which are important for children under 5. 3. Other causes Apart from the two main points above, several causes of the stunting are as follows. 1. Um, lack of maternal knowledge regarding the importance of nutrition before pregnancy, during pregnancy and after giving birth. 2. Lack of clean water, subtle and sanitation. 
3. Mother, the mother's wigs does not increase during pregnancy of the mother's wigs gain is less than the ideal value. 4. Limited access to health services. 5. The children suffers from a disease that prevents the absorption of nutrition. Next are the characteristics of children experiencing stunting. Children who are short in stature do not necessarily experience stunting. A toddler can be said to be stunted if his height is below the normal range of shell height standards based of a on to cons consecutive examination. Apart from short body stutter, other characteristics of stunting are as follow. 1. Ground and development is grow. 2. His face look younger than children his age. 3. Body weight does not um, increase and even tends to decrease. 4. The affability, the focus, and learning memory is not good. 5. The children stood grown, pace slow down. 6. In the long term, girls have the potential to experience that first menstruation. And 7. Children are more easily attacked or infected by various diseases. Stunting is failure to grow due to lack of nutritional instinct, which is the short term can cause disruption of brain development metabolism and skull grown in children. Meanwhile, in the long term, the impact of stunting is a follow 1. Learning difficulties 2. Heart and blood vases diseases 3. The recent cognitive development abilities 4. Increases the risk of the availability in children 5. The body immune system is weakened, so it is easily infected with disease. So, how do you treat stunting? Stunting treatment can be adjusted to find out the cause, for example, by improving nutrition, giving supplements, or adapting a health lifestyle. Below are some of the efforts that doctors usually take to treat stunting. 1. Treat the under underliving disease. 2. Suggest and provide additional nutrition. 3. Providing supplements, generation in the form of vitamin A, iron, zinc, and iron. 4. Advise families to teach children to adopt clean living habits and improvement sanitation. Next, in how to prefer stunting. How to prefer stunting can be done by implementing the following effort. 1. Make sure children eat healthy fruit and vegetables. 2. Adequate nutritional intake from fertilization of the egg until the child is 2 years old. 3. Provide exclusive breastfeeding until the baby is 6 months old. And 4. Ensure the children are safe for complete immunization. Okay guys, that's all my explanation. I apologize for more of less and if there are errors in the explanation or mention of the same, I apologize. I am and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye.